you doing? Thank you so much for joining me in today's video. We're going to be talking all about faves um, and fails for January. So these are products that I reach for again and again and again. And so I am very excited to share those with you. If you're excited and you like luxury products, you do want to go ahead and click on that red button that says subscribe. And also go onto my Instagram because over there I keep you posted on new makeup sales, makeup releases, everything like that. So let's just go ahead and get started. All right, friends. So let's begin. And I want to do a little bit of skincare I always like to share you know my fave skincare products with you but I don't have them uh, physically here because I was too lazy to get up and pick them up so I am going to be sharing pictures so the first thing that I've been just using and abusing is this vitamin C from the brand Beersid this is I think that's how you say it I'm sorry if I'm not pronouncing that right um, I love vitamin C serums. That is a step that I always, always, always have to have in my routine. I use it in the morning and I always make sure to, you know, just wear SPF. This one is really nice, you guys. It is really, um, hydrating. Um, I love the feel of this serum. It's a little bit thick, but it doesn't distort my makeup. It just looks pretty underneath, you know, the products that I put at top. I am wearing it right now underneath all this makeup and yeah, it doesn't feel heavy once it sinks in it really feels very nice and hydrating and I do feel like since I've started using it it has done a little bit of lining on you know my hyperpigmentations and my acne spots so I really I really like that one. I do highly recommend you just look into this brand. I have their eye cream as well which I've been loving so I'm going to share that one too. This is a niacinamide eye cream. I purchased mine things from Shopper Drug Mart. So if you're in Canada, that's where you can find them. Uh, if not, I'll link, you know, I have links below. So this guy is called the Vacation Eyes Brightening Eye Gel. And I really love the consistency of a gel-like, you know, texture for my under eyes, especially during the day. At night, I don't mind to put heavy creams underneath my eyes. But during the day, because I do put concealer and makeup, I don't like anything heavy this really sinks in into my under eyes and I really really love it this guy has vitamin C it has ginger said root extract and it has niacinamide and it's going to brighten while coffee seed extra supports circulation and help flush out the fluid that can get caught underneath your eyes um, and is going to contribute to dark circles so that niacinamide and that coffee are really working all together with the vitamin C I love the ingredients on this product and I, I do highly recommend it is very affordable so I did wanted to give those two I get mentioned because I've been using them quite another eye cream that I have been loving is one similar and this one is but good molecules this is their newer product by them they released it not too long ago and I've been loving it same story it is a really thick consistency it is packed with antioxidants so it's gonna help you know just deep puff it's gonna help replenish your under your eyes and it's gonna help with dark circles so um give me all the dark circle products in the world i'm willing to try them because yeah mama needs help and yeah so those two i love and then when it comes to hydration i've been loving my milk moisturizer i've talked about this in many of my videos that guy right there i'm almost out i have one or two uses and i'm already thinking what i'm gonna do without it because at night i just like to slather my face in all those you know all those uh, thick moisturizers and oh my god I do layer so much you guys because my skin is just being so dry I have combination skin but I don't know what's going on I am just dry everywhere and my t-zone is just like you know just chilling but everything else is just so like tight and yeah I've been enjoying that milk moisturizer and then after I do all that I always always finish off with an oil and the one that I've been a Laven is this one by um by Essence. <laughs> this one has vitamin C and esqualine. That is an amazing oil. It feels really lightweight. It sinks in really nicely. You're not like overly greasy at night. Because sometimes my husband is like, 
okay, are you gonna go to bed with all, all those things on your face? And I'm like, yeah, why? But that oil sinks in really nicely. I don't look extra greasy, so my husband isn't freaked out about it, and I just love it. So that's it for skincare. Let's move on to some makeup. Because of all the things that I just mentioned, we need hydration. Well, I need hydration. So the primer that I've been really, really loving is this one by Laneige. It is uh, called the Makeup Serum, and it has a little pink particles. I always try to show it on my videos, but I think I fail miserably every, every, every time. Um, anyways, the point of this glowy serum is that it is just that it is a serum but it's gonna be really hydrating it's gonna give you a beautiful base for any you know foundation at top i do really like it i'm not sure if it really extends the wear of my makeup i just like it because of the hydration factor. The same thing goes with my juno Enco primer i've talked about this one i believe truly that this is a dupe for my magic cream i like to put really thick creams underneath my makeup because of all the things that i just mentioned so this is really thick you can see you only need a little bit of it but this has avocado and so many hydrating things I'm sure it has hyaluronic acid and so many good things that it's gonna help you know hydrate your complexion and it's gonna just lock it down because that's what hyaluronic acid is good for just so that you don't lose the little hydration that is already on your face so this one and this one have been just life saviors. So now let's talk foundation and one that I discovered recently and I just loved ever since is this one by Kojin Do. This is the foundation that I'm wearing right now. I have this shade 143. This is Kojin Do My Fenshi Aqua Foundation. I'm sorry if I butchered that, but this is beautiful, you guys. It gives me a super even complexion. It looks really natural. Well, you can see through my skin, you can still see all my hyperpigmentations and all those little bumps that I don't care. Uh, this just lets my, you know, my skin just breathe and it looks beautiful is really long wearing so I really like that about this I really also love the color I think it's beautiful I love my yellow base foundation and so this is great um you know it does sense doesn't you know look patchy or cakey or too much anywhere on my face especially around my mouth I have you know all my foundations just set heavy and weird um this doesn't do this and same with my hydromanic by urban decay i review this guy i'll link my review above this is beautiful you guys if you have dry skin you need this in your life it has marula oils it has some oils that is gonna help you you know just keep hydrated throughout the day it may be too much for oily skin people but because it is so dry here i don't even care that I have combo skin it doesn't show like my oils will come through my t-zone but I don't mind that because around here it's just always looking pretty and flawless and that's like a huge thing for me so this one by Urban Decay is a truly a winner. This foundation gives you a good medium to build up all coverage. The color is also perfect for me. 50 medium is just a beautiful. I just love this foundation so so much. I did wanted to you know give it a good mention because this is all I've been wearing to be honest. This another one that is a winner, beautiful winner in my book is this one by Fenty. It is their new powder foundation, you guys. This is poreless. I've used it for just a quick on the go, you know, quick days. I'll do a little bit of concealer and then I buff this everywhere else and I'm good to go. It lasts so, so well. If you hydrate underneath with a, you know, just a primer, I've been using their Pro Filter Hydrating Primer by Fenty. And so I do that primer and then I'll let it sink. You have to let it sink and then you go in and use this, just buffer everywhere blush bronzer and you're good to go this looks beautiful it gives you a really poreless appearance and i've been enjoying this guy quite a bit quite a bit I, I am so so shocked that I like it so much I'm not really a powder foundation gal <laughs> not at all especially for all the reasons I've been telling you that I've been so dry but this doesn't emphasize any dry patches nothing like that it's just stunning a beautiful beautiful duo that I have been loving and enjoying is this one by Chanel this is part of their spring collection this is their fleurs the printemps I'm sorry if I my French but this is what it looks like 
that full first impressions on these and demo um, these just gives you such a fresh and pretty complexion it's gonna be everything for a spring I cannot wait for spring uh, this winter needs to be over very soon uh, but yeah this just gives you that youthful appearance if you mix them both and they're gonna give you just a flush of something very special it shows up on my complexion no problem I'm a good medium to tan complexion I do have to build it up though one two maybe three times I don't mind you guys as long as the color is showing as long as it's very natural and beautiful I'm willing to you know just build up a product and this is one you know one like that and I am very very happy that I got my hands on this Another beautiful and special product is my Meteorites by Guerlain. I've been using these ones as a blush. These are their new spring collection. These are the pink pearls and they have been very, very difficult to hand down every time I see them. Uh, they're usually a Nordstrom, but they don't have the pink ones, you guys. And I know some of you want to get your hands on it. I'm really sorry. I don't know. These are just, they just, they just sell really quickly and I do see the hype I do see why this is just blurring this is just perfecting as a blush is beautiful even on my complexion if I put the more you know fuchsia pearls at top then I can really build them up as a beautiful blush and I don't use a blush you can also use it as a topper if you like to but I like to use it just as a one step and go because I'm lazy like that these are beautiful these are going to last forever and the packaging everything this is just truly special you guys a truly truly special I do highly recommend if you find especially the pink ones because again it gives you a beautiful flush of color um, if you don't find the pink ones they do have the pearl ones um, I'm gonna link them if I find them those ones are gonna give you more of a neutral golden you know glow but they're not gonna add any color to your complexion it's gonna be a finishing you know um, last step on your makeup application I wanted to mention some products by Westman Atelier I know these are coming to Sephora a lot of you are very excited to get to know the brand I recently tried them I actually tried them back in December and ever since I tried them I've been hooked I've been loving their foundation stick this is what this foundation looks like their packaging everything about this brand is just very beautiful they're vegan cruelty free they're clean luxury makeup and uh, these I have the shade 7 you don't get here the full ounce so I do understand that this is you know pricey um, but this is just so beautiful it can get more luxury than this this is very natural so easy to apply number seven is perfect for my complexion it's just so easy you guys you just buff it and you're out the door this takes me like a minute so that's why I really like these products they're just extremely natural and beautiful I also love their blushes and this is the one that I'm wearing right now is in this shade Shushed, and this is what it looks like oh my god you guys this is a very very pretty they're just so easy to apply you can just you know take a brush and go directly into here and then like that you can apply it with a sponge I've used that uh, before this shed shade is very neutral very pretty it's gonna give you a natural sheen very glowy look at this it is a pinky shade but it is very neutral they have uh, multiple shades I believe they have six in total uh, and they just released a newer shade which is a reddish tone very pretty it is going to be good for medium to dark complexion but it could also be shared down to lighter complexion people and I'm hunting that one down as soon as I can find it here in Canada I'm gonna get my hands on it and I'll do a first impressions but yeah those like these two I've been doing you know as a pair and then I mean I have to talk about their super loaded highlighters because these are very popular for a reason the packaging is stunning the inside is so so pretty this one I'm wearing right now and you can see in my demo that it is just so easy to apply it is so so beautiful it gives you a beautiful glow. really build it up if you like to you can use a brush you can use you know a dual fiber brush a sponge or whatever it is but this is just very blinding very beautiful and you know it is really nice to know that you're applying clean products to your face products that are not gonna have 
extremely toxic you know ingredients in them and yeah that's why I have been really impressed by um, this brand. For a really quick eye makeup I've been reaching for these ones by Rare Beauty. I review I did a first impressions on them these are their liquid shadows and this one I have been loving and reaching for the most. These are just easy you guys they just apply it very easy they're available but they're not extremely pigmented so this is gonna give you just a flash of color you're gonna look very fresh I really like it you guys because it's just so easy to apply I'll go with the doll fold and then I just blend and I'm out the door and it looks like I did you know beautiful makeup when in reality I just didn't. I just love this on my lids and left. I really love that they don't crease. They're very very lightweight. You don't feel like you're wearing anything on your lids at all. They're not sticky. They do set down very pretty and you can use these as a lip and as a cheek product as well. I have tried it and it is a very very pretty. It is really matte so they're not gonna give you any glow like that and that's why on the lids it just looks seamless and beautiful. So reaching for these so so much that I wanted to give them a nice shout out. Another blush that I've been loving and I've received multiple compliments from you guys is this one by Patrick Ta, Chisole. This is just neutral, beautiful. I love the cream in here uh, because I've been a little bit dry as I mentioned my whole video. Um, <laughs> this is going to give you a beautiful sheen to your cheeks. They're just gonna make you look really awake and just natural and like you drank a ton of water. I love it. I love every single shade that I have. I have three. I'm just missing the pink, which is bizarre because I'm always going for the pink, but this time around I decided not to. So I have the coral, the berry, and this one, and I love them all. One size, a powder. Love it. I've talked about this so much already. Ever since I tried it, I, I grabbed the big size because I needed to have it at this, you guys. It doesn't matter how much powder you apply on your face. You're never gonna look cakey. It never looks heavy. Even around my mouth where I get a lot of dryness, this doesn't emphasize any dry patches. This is just a beautiful, beautiful finely melt powder. This is truly like the inside of this powder. It is very luxurious and pretty. I do recommend you give this one a go. Get the little guy and you'll thank me later. And of course, I need to mention my Sicily powder because this is one that I've been just reaching for so, so much. I have this shade too and I think I've mentioned this in a recent video on products that I feel like they're worth the splurge. This is pricey, you guys, but wow, wow, it is pretty. The packaging sucks, but the inside it is, it is just everything. This makes you look just blurred out perfected it doesn't um, you know emphasize any creases underneath my eyes it doesn't emphasize brightness around my mouth I do like these two quite a bit I've been enjoying powders so much lately and these two have been you know just right here don't go anywhere I've been loving for bronzer I've been really reaching for this one by Charlotte this is just a beautiful one that is so easy to apply it just gives you really natural contour to your complexion this is perfect for my complexion it is the fair medium color they do have a deeper shade I think and I don't know if this is the lightest but this is beautiful. This just melts on your cheeks. And again, it just gives you this beautiful chisel look. I don't have any bronzer today. I just have this one. And I like the natural look that this product really provides. Let's talk eyes. And I am so surprised, you guys. I am very shocked that I'm mentioning these quad by Charlotte. And um, this is what I have right now on my eyes. Only the brown I have all over my lid the brown and then the lighter one a little bit in my inner corner just to highlight I love it you guys I love it this is soft it is sophisticated it is pretty it just looks even it just looks beautiful I don't know I've been reaching for this so much and especially to I've been doing like a one one shadow kind of eye so I've done one shadow with this one and then with this one and then this just to you know just highlight my inner corners and I I don't reach for the black at all but this is just a really nice formula I think I want the lighter shade as well but I don't know if it's gonna show up too much on my complexion so that's why I'm just like no be strong 
let's just play with this one this one is in the shade uh diva lights i think yeah diva lights i've been really enjoying this formula like i said i want more i don't feel like i want the warm one i want the light one but do you think you think it'll show up on me if you have the lighter one if you've tried it and you have medium complexion just help a girl out i would love to know your thoughts another easy go-to Supremes by Artist Couture. This is easy, this is blendable. You have everything here that you need for a quick make. I usually grab for a brown in here and then I pack it on my lid and diffuse a little bit higher and I'm good to go. I am so lazy like that in my everyday life. I, I can be, you know, messing around with too many shadows. I really love this palette. This basic, it is neutral, it blends, it performs. He did really, really well with this palette. And for a colorful look, I don't know if you've seen in my description box, the times that I've worn like a purple eye or like a pinky eye, I've been I've been using this one. And I busted this one ever since I saw that she was re-releasing the Love Collection. That's all on my way and I'm gonna review them for you very soon, as soon as I get them. You know, the little guy, the compact and then the lippy uh, but I wanted to play again with these shadows because I haven't in a while and these are just pretty you guys these are beautiful shades they're not gonna be for everyone you need to love color to love this palette um, but I don't know this is pretty I've been you know using it quite a bit again and I am so glad because every time that I use it I just come up with beautiful looks and I have been enjoying this I've quite a also bit. been loving the rare beauty new lip glosses I got the shade um nude I think I tried that on my video I had a little sample I don't have it here it's in my purse I love I love it if you want to see how that one looks go ahead and watch that that one has such a beautiful and silky texture it is impressive I was like what is this it is so amazing it doesn't compare to the gloss bomb this is just higher up like that. I love that one by Rare Beauty. I do highly recommend that one. And then for, you know, a little bit of color, I've been doing this one by Cecily quite a bit. If you check my videos, this is all I have all month long. This is in the shade Beige Manhattan. And this is what I have right now. So easy, so neutral, so beautiful. Very creamy, very comfy. I know it is a very pricey lipstick, but I don't know, I just... I love the color, I love the formula, it doesn't have a scent. So many great things about these Sicily lipsticks. Uh, I need to check out more of their colors, especially the bright ones now for spring. If you try these ones, let me know. Drop me a comment which one I need. I have two products for my eyes and I don't know, I always forget to mention this, but this is always, always on my eyes. This one is by, uh, by Wayne Goss. This is his... Uh, the essential eye cold pencil in the shade precious opal and how I like to use it is to create a little wing I do that every time I do my makeup I don't like black eyeliner this is creamy creamy it is like a pod it is so so creamy so I go ahead and apply the liner just however I want it not very precise not really pretty but then I go ahead and take this brush like this this one is by Sedona Lace it is very old but you know any angle liner brush is going to do and then this is just so easy you guys to because it is so creamy it is so easy to drag and just create like a fake wink like that and it's just everything so I've been loving this so so much I also wear it on my um on my waterline it doesn't really last a ton on my waterline but on my upper you know upper uh, lash line i have no problem it lasts all day long and i just feel like it makes the eyes very smoky very Last but not least my maybelline mascara this is their sky high mascara i wanted to do a full video on this but you guys i think you don't really like drugstore things let me know i did a poll you said no no, I'll just continue with all the bougie things. Um, I wanted to do a video on this so so bad and 
I couldn't. I just didn't know if you were going to watch it. So I went ahead and did a demo on my IG. If you're not following me on my Instagram, go ahead and do so. I always have my, um, my IG up there. But this is Maybelline Last Sensational Sky High Mascara. I've been wearing this all month long. I love it, you guys. It gives you beautiful, beautiful, beautiful lashes. This mascara, don't batch. Like, I have had so many problems with my under eyes and mascara just transferring and just end up with raccoon eyes every single day of my life. I don't know what's going on until I tried this. I've been wearing this for two weeks straight every single day. I just love it. I do two full coats and my lashes just look beautiful. Don't smudge. The removal process is a little bit, you know, difficult because they're there. So I have to use warm water and just, you know, just pat it delicately so you don't lose any lash. And then, yeah, this comes off. Love it. Great job, Maybelline. They always do so, so well when it comes to their mascara. Last but not least, I wanted to mention a scent. Just in case if you're into scents, this one is by the brand Skylar. It is their Vanilla Sky. It is rich. It is creamy. It is warm. This just, just smells like pure. This just smells, you guys, so creamy. So comforting. It is like a beautiful latte, milky latte. It's gotta have milk in it because it is so creamy, so warm, so rich, so beautiful. I love it. I really like this brand Skylar. I talked about one of their scents in one of my videos before. That was like in summertime. I love that scent. It really lingers. It has a very nice sillage. People will like ask me like, what are you wearing? You smell so, so good. Um, and I know some of you bought it because I recommended it and you really love it. So this one, uh, the notes, it says that it has cappuccino, it has pure vanilla, and it has caramelized cedar these are uh, clean as sephora so all their scents are and this sets your comfort and bliss meet you with a soft and airy touch vanilla sky brings warmth to your heart and soul if you're a coffee lover you gotta have this in your life but again it's not straight up coffee it is vanilla milky latte kind of coffee you know that yummy coffee with milk if you drink milk i love it all right now let's get to the fail the fail of the month gucci foundation you guys i tried so hard to make this foundation work even in my review i said that i wasn't really too sure about it yeah this is just so heavy it just looks makeup -y. it just dry especially around here i tried with every single of my primers i tried with an oil i just tried so hard i'm so exhausted <laughs> gucci really failed me when it came to this foundation their primer is okay i don't feel like it is nothing that you really need in your life it is an okay product um i like it i've used that i have been using it actually um i don't feel like it's hydrating it's going to be better for spring and summertime i think so that's why i'm like okay i'm giving you a chance um, i use you but i don't love you these you really guys not worth it don't spend your money on this gucci foundation because it is a disaster. All right, friends, and that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching. Now, I would love to know from you what have you been your faves of this month for hydration. Help me out. Anything that has, you know, made you a glowy goddess, I need to know. Leave me a comment, any lippy, any scent, anything that you think I need to try. I would love to hear your thoughts and opinions. Thank you so much, you guys, for your love and support. Do not forget to share, like, and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Bye.